Giants doesn't. We take care of the Giants, not the soldiers who hide behind the barricades. Mm. Well, there's no soldiers at the barricade. I don't know. Where's the yeah. barricade then? There's one. Militia will be able to construct it decently quickly. Mm. All right. Um, probably set one up on Raven Street as well. Where's that? Uh, Raven, uh, Raven, Raven. I see it. <laughs> and if they come from uh, the southeast, probably one on Main Street right about here somewhere. Uh, if I may suggest differently, maybe you know, near, more near Garrison, so that if people retreat to there... No, wait. Maybe not. Never mind. Where at? Then did you want it? Uh, uh, somewhere near uh, Bent Street and Rat Alley. Alright, so if they come from the east, they will probably have to go either through uh, on the cliff way or high street. Assuming they won't take a few minutes to just completely demolish the barricade and laugh at it. But it's... Uh, I mean, we don't... We I'm doing what I can here. That's what I'm saying, it doesn't know. cost us to... Uh, I wonder why Ashi Ranty dislikes barricade so much. <laughs> Did they bully her as a child or something? <laughs> You meant with my childhood, not my child, because I don't have a child. I said, did they bully her as a child? Mm. No. I mean, reactionary is a common trait. <laughs> reactionary? You got bullied as a child, you have a better initiative because of it. Oh, interesting. No, Plus two initiative. Actually, Barricades uh, bullied you as a child. <laughs> seeker and indomitable fate. <laughs> I'm actually completely impressed about how many fucking traits there are about you were bullied as a child or you were bullied as a child. Yeah, I mean, this is about game like <laughs> people who really think. <laughs> uh, would an action like doing something like general mass before like uh, at some day, like be before the assault happens, would be a be able to lift a morale somewhat, like if Ashiranti goes with along with father like to give like you know, blessing to the people that the time of maybe not judgment but you know, strife has come but we should Well just back up one from Samuel's flat out drop to the militia that there was a dragon. Yeah. Instead of like, you know, just like announcing it in a more conversation instead of like, hey, yeah, we're being attacked, but there's going to be a dragon coming. I didn't mean it to say it in character, but sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, that's what I assumed because I would imagine Samuel is smarter than that. <laughs> yeah. Also, he's wise, uh, not as much smart. I'm kidding. <laughs> also, Oren, where's that the mercenary you said you were going to bring? I dragged his ass back with me. Should be here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> he said he'd have to get ready and he would like come along shortly. No, I have that pleasant. I mean, at the time, me. I did mention like I would, be, I was going to be selling my or buying my shit and then just wait at his house and then abduct him. Yeah, it doesn't. was like that. <laughs> so you left his okay, house, I'm, then you got back. Then you went uh, back? No, I'm oh. like. Hey, we're going. Oh. He's like, well, I need to prepare. I was like, all right, sure. I'm going to be away for an hour to do some buying shit. In an hour, I better find you back here. So I go back, I finish my buying, come back, pick him up, and then I bring what him to... What if he was gone? <laughs> is, is he yeah. gone? No, yeah, he, he's with one of the militia groups. Yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> I swear to God, if I gave you 500 gold in... <laughs> No, I would have hunted him. I would have hunted his ass down, and I would have killed him. He's with one of the militia groups. Yeah. Does it right. really matter which one? He's totally not going to desert now that he has five hundred gold. Definitely. 
you know, I have the pleasant image of him being on the other side of the river with the army on one side and the river on the other. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Go around looting houses, dodging giants that are also looting houses. <laughs> Fucking joining the army, enemy army. Mm. They paid me more! <laughs> <laughs> We'll pay you in. All right. Uh, would the uh, giants attack the mansions? You don't know. I know. Nah, probably not. Uh, I imagine we also evacuated civilians from there. There were most of the people that would live there are like town leaders and wouldn't be there. Yeah. Like the mayor and. Like, what's her fucking name? The chick that owned Amiko. Uh, Kaijus. The pal the two paladins, I think, have one of the manners. Yeah, like, like, like the people that you know could actually fight live in the manners. So. Yeah, we don't need to obsess over them. They are in the city already. I mean, as for general oh. tips to people, to militia, I would just say, I mean, don't ever fight the giants on the open field. At least when possible, try to, you know, force them into tight spaces and never attack them one at a time because, well, you're gonna get squashed. Not gonna get squashed, but I'm gonna say uh, it will be preferable and more tactically preferable if you, you know, swarm them. Instead of attacking one at a time, by working Swarm together, them. Will be able to die, prevail. But the rest might actually kill them. Mero, shut the fuck up. Alright, mm. uh, first off, uh, we need. Probably need uh, some place to use as a. Uh, um... Hey, from the image online. Oh. But never mind. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, Go to the southeastern bridge and prepare myself. How long and are you going yeah. to be crafting acid through the night? Or will you be getting sleep? No, oh, I'll be getting sleep. As okay. I said, I'll be working for until like, what, nine? And then I'll pass out and then I'll okay. wake up early and yeah. All right. Then we probably want to uh, set up some uh, uh, night watch to. Uh, Make sure we don't get surprised during the night. Let's do the scouts return. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to go scouting. Nope. So we never see Simon or the scouts again. Well, goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Simon went out scouting. That was yeah, I said I was volunteering. Oh, you were going. Are you going with the scouts, or are you not going with the scouts? Like, are you going what? off by yourself? Like all this, or all this, are the scouts in a group, or are they going off by themselves? I say we uh, go in a group of three, uh, just so uh, we don't get uh, surprised. And if we get surprised, we go. How far out do you go? Um, not too far. Just uh, hang on, need need to check the map. Hinterlands. And uh, let's see. My suggestion um, one mile max. Or maybe two. Yeah. And not. And at are least you not stealthing further. the whole way? Because remember, that makes you move at half speed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could just outrun them. Yeah, we have horses, right? I mean, you didn't say you didn't say that you took horses, but I guess you can. It's like you we, you ride out. Still, I think it's implied that we take horses. Yeah, but it's yeah. given that like the northern parts, like in eastern parts, like dense forests, horses don't do too well in dense forests. There's a road, right? Yeah, you, like you can you can see out along the road. Mm. Like, more power to you. More power. I mean, the idea is they're a big army, 
If they don't really need to get that close to see them. You yeah. said they're a big army. I mean, probably. It's not an army unless it's big. It's a racist army. No, it's... I don't yeah. know what that has to do with anything, Oren. Mm. But, uh, let's, let's say uh, we uh, scout one mile uh, off Sandpoint. Alright. You go a mile out, you don't quite see anything. Except for when you come across the clearing, you see some bearded guy, black hair, black beard, and he's just kind of like dancing. This is where you kill him. Yeah, grab the XP, Simon. We know you have it in you. <laughs> yes. Um, so you should totally attack the dancing crazy old guy. Yeah, he won't kill you. He is... Wait, is he a dwarf or... He, he's a, he seems to be a human. Alright. Um, I... Wait. I asked the other two scouts to uh, wait uh, as I approach the crazy old man. Alright. Uh, is he... Does he have any clothes on him? Any... Yes, he seems to be wearing, like, brown robes. Alright. Um... Excuse me, sir. He keeps dancing. Dance with sir, him. can you stop dancing? <laughs> He he's, seems to shake his head no as he's dancing, but it could very well be part of the dance. He's bewitched you. Uh, dance with him. Uh, well, Hashtag I'm sad to spell magic. I'm uh, sad to say that the road here isn't safe. I'm going to have to ask you to uh, find some shelter. And, he begins uh, moonwalking into the woods. Nope. Okay, so I have a nice day. With one hand outstretched, like, what? What? <laughs> As he fucking shuffles into the woods. <laughs> and uh, Samuel just sighs and goes back over his horse and goes back uh, with the other scouts. Yes, you should have totally attacked the crazy old man. <laughs> Who was that, Silo? Mm -mm. No, I'm not attacking Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear the music? <laughs> it's his uh, theme song. I have other music on. <laughs> his, his theme song's been playing. Uh, that would have explained everything. <laughs> uh, glorious. Uh, now, I will say, once the battle starts, you should listen to the music I have, because I picked out some pretty good music for this. Okay. Nice. Uh, I just have Rasputin playing, because why not? Once yeah. it starts, but it won't start. It's <laughs> it, we totally won't be fighting. We'll just be talking with this over peacefully. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it even possible to talk it over peacefully with the army sack? No, it's never possible to talk anything over in a adventure path. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yes, it is possible to talk things over in an adventure path, but this is an army that's coming to raid a village. Yeah. This is where we all just have no combat ability and all make diplomancers. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> just convince them that there's a bad idea to attack the diplomats. Mm. One of us is specialized in intimidate, another is specialized in diplomacy, the last one is specialized in bluff, and the last one has a little bit of everything. Alright, uh, do we have... Uh... Oil in Sandpoint. Ha. You have kerosene. I build a car. <laughs> you built a what? A car. <laughs> a car from kerosene oil? Yep. <laughs> okay. It fails That's to run. God damn it. I tried. Because you don't know how to right. build a car. You, you 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 grab a cart and you throw kerosene oil on it and you set it on fire. Yep. <laughs> Toss some acid in there for good measure. <laughs> One of the ones that you made? Sudden, no. All of a sudden it turns into a car. 
<laughs> right, so I guess uh, we keep scouting for now. Well, as you keep scouting, you won't see really see anything else. All right, then I uh, guess we head back uh, to Sandpoint for now. All right. So what, is, what do you all do in the evening? Play cards. Roll me a D100. Sure. On a one, you lose all of your money. <laughs> hey, I didn't lose all my money. You break even. Fuck my life. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else can we do? Um, let's see. Roaming, roaming perception. Merlo. Oh, sure. Yeah. Roaming perception. A decent perception. The person you were playing with seemed to be cheating. Oh no! Uh, they seem what? to be marked cards, and yet, and yet, he still doesn't manage to do anything else but break even. That is, <laughs> that is just wow. <laughs> he seems to be good. cheating with marked cards, and you break even. Yeah, it's like, yeah, dude, you suck. <laughs> Let I me just, show you how. I just <laughs> bought these the other day. <laughs> Let me show you how you cheat, I say, and I pull out another stack of cards. <laughs> uh, I roll again. This guy's cheating. He draws a dagger on you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? You were the one who started it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. He throws the dagger. It goes straight past your ear. Okay. I turn around and look who the dagger hit. It seemed to hit it. To hit a snake. What? What's snake doing here? Not Snape. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> snake. Snake. Saber snake. Wait, what would it be different? Mm. Mm. What would be different? I don't know. No. Anyway, I think this this will just end up in a bar brawl. Who Merlo will obviously win, steal all the money from this guy who said he was cheating, and let's go to the battle before anybody thinks that over. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, Merlo, do you have any ideas on what we can do to uh, prepare? I mean, uh, not exactly experienced in handling armies. Mm -hmm. and well, we're ha it's not as much as an army as a uh, raid group. Well, truth of all, most of all, we need to know where they're coming from if we want to do anything special. And it's probably, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to put half, what, two thirds of our groups against bridges that are already burned down. Considering well, what, where would you want to send them? I mean, put put like fifteen, fifteen at the bridges, and put six, sixty uh, up at the, the Tomb Street. Because if they can get over the river, we have time to reposition our troops back down there. Whereas at if they go our street, you said, uh, Tomb Street at Lo Lost Cost Road. Or how many are these guarding the ri river? Twenty-five and twenty-five. Yeah, how many are guarding to uh, Lost River? Hmm? Uh, Lost Coast. How many are guarding Lost Coast Road? Well, the name. Oh, the wall. The wall. Yes. The wall. Yes. Ten. Ten. Really? Yep. That's all you wanted to put on there. That's a terrible idea. Oh well. Mm. But I mean. Mm. Yeah, it's like. If, if they can get over the river, it's probably still going to take them some time, like build boats or get a whatever, so we have time to reposition our troops back down there. 
But if they're going over the like wall, they can just bring out. They can just have the giant like, break the wall or something. Hmm. You know, it doesn't seem like they'd be able to easily climb over the wall. It seems high enough that they can't do that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, also, have you seen the town has grease. Grease? Yes, grease. It's a grease here. I that mean, I mean, you can me. try to go gather it up from the various taverns and ha and building like people's houses and whatnot. If you don't mind the odd looks as you ask for grease with a yeah. look on your eyes. Actually, uh, is there something on the uh, uh, beach where we store our, all of our junk? Is there something there that could help us? Are you going down to the beach? Yes. All right. Roll me perception. You see streets or ships. Like millions of them. Yeah. Nineteen, damn it. You tried. GG well played. You don't see the armies that's on the beach. Mm. <laughs> oh that motherfucker, I just remembered what Zach told me last session. Alright. <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> yep. As you go through Digging through the junk to see what you can find, you grab something fleshy and throw it behind you, and you hear like a goblin scream as <laughs> the rest just like pile up on top of you. <laughs> yes. Get dog piled, bitch. Oh, dang. What? <laughs> All right, uh, roll initiative. It's an army, there's 20 of them. That's an army, that's a group. You can deal with an army of 20 fucking goblins. Hmm. I mean, you can roll initiative if you want, but... Yeah. Damn it, I don't... But they don't all go at goblins. the same time, so... Yeah. I don't know if it really matters. We're gonna have this dark thing where he gets beaten to death while everyone else is just like going about their business. Mm. He can deal with a with a. He, he's not a scrub. He can deal with, with yeah. twenty <laughs> goblins. If you don't, then we have oh. something to laugh at. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, does Ring of Animal Friendship back on the on goblins? <laughs> does not. Alright, never mind then. <laughs> mm. Alright, then I guess I roll initiative. That's weird. It's being yeah. weird. I know, right? Why why is it being weird? I'm gonna refresh the page. How is it weird? It's not like showing up like the little circles. Oh. Yeah. That is weird. Oh, yeah, they don't need to fucking breathe. But the question is, don't giant needs to breathe? I, I guess. Um, They're not same. constructs. I mean, that's specific undead trait that they do not need air to breathe. About yeah, about about. I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, wait. I I apparently hit his drawing somehow. Oh, no. Yep. But so, so they were drawing for a while. <laughs> That's crap. I wonder if anybody will be able to hear Samuel's calls for help. Probably not. Nope. Yeah. He dies Samuel alone. Samuel goes first. Alright. A uh, flurry of blows. Alright. I'm gonna just... 